ago, a university professor told his students a fascinating tale about a mysterious stranger and an old apple tree, little realizing that he was planting the inspiration for a great American story. In 1937, borrowing the theme of the professor's story, Lawrence E. Watkins' brilliant first novel, On Borrowed Time, astounds the book world and skyrockets overnight to the bestseller class. In 1938, Paul Osborne's dramatization of Unborrowed Time makes an unobtrusive debut on Broadway and becomes a dramatic sensation. Early in 1939, Spirited Bidding brings the picture rights to Metro Golden Mayor. To Lionel Barrymore, celebrating his 30 years of stardom, goes the coveted role of Gramps. To young Bobs Watson, climaxing his 30 weeks in films, goes the part of the grandson, Pud. To gather youth and experience, score a tremendous success, and at the Hollywood premiere, get a thundering ovation from the nation's foremost but hard-boiled critics. Just trying to make you understand. Ma'am, you don't love me anymore. Oh, of course I do, boy, but I got to go away. But I'll go with you, Grip. No, no, son, you can't do that. Now you, you can't. Please, Grip, please. No. Did I don't love you anymore either. I don't love you anymore either. Oh. Come here now. <laughs> 